Hi everyone, this is Valerie and this is part 2 of the video about a chatbot. In the previous video I told you about the importance of a chatbot for any business and why it is actually a good thing to get a chatbot on your website. And this video is devoted to major things about a chatbot. Well, first of all, a checklist before launching a chatbot and then how you can configure it under five minutes. And we are going to start with the checklist. Well, now everyone loves checklists, so we are not an exception and here we go. Well, before you start working with the chatbot, you're going to define the goal of the chatbot. So if your competitor has a chatbot on your website, don't think like, hey, I also should have a chatbot on my website. No, your chatbot is going to have the purpose of your website and once you know what the purpose equals to, you're going to initiate a chatbot. And actually the purpose of the chatbot is going to be very much interconnected with the metrics that you're going to track with your chatbot. For example, right now your main goal is to convert the ad traffic into leads. So you're going to configure a chatbot that's going to collect leads and your chatbot has KPI for getting as many leads as possible. Next thing about a chatbot, if you are a beginner with a chatbot, don't build a chatbot that's going to have lots and lots of responses, questions and so on and so forth. Just build a small chatbot that's going to say hi, get some information and then give value to your website traffic, for example. After a while, you're going to experiment with that, but still, if that's only the beginning of your journey with the chatbot, just start with really tiny chatbot. Okay, I'll tell you why this is important. Well, you're going to configure a chatbot that's going to deliver value to your business and you're going to measure it. If that's a tiny chatbot, that's much, much easier to measure its efficiency. And if you are creating a big chatbot with a lot of responses and answers, you won't be able to measure its efficiency. So you shouldn't do that. Just opt for the small one, measure the efficiency, measure its KPI and enjoy the success. Number three, a chatbot is something that's going to work with simple questions, simple answers, simple responses. If you configure a chatbot to deal with complex things, that's actually a losing game. So when you are configuring a chatbot, make sure that it can solve simple questions and simple issues, while complex ones are going to be passed to the real agent and real people are going to deal with it because they're going to help your customers because your customers give profit to a company and you shouldn't abandon them. Otherwise, your customers are going to hate you and they are going to leave you and they are going to leave bad responses. And you don't want that, of course. Number four, people on your website should be aware of the fact that they are communicating with a chatbot, not a real person. So you shouldn't make a chatbot very much similar to a human being don't mislead people who are communicating with it. Like your chatbot can say, hey, I'm a bot, I'm here to help you. So I'm sure your company has tone of voice, the way you are communicating with your customers and the way you are delivering information across all the content your company produces. And that means your chatbot is a part of your tone of voice. So it should sound natural, it should sound as uh, an integral part of your business and it shouldn't use any cliches or whatever. So make it a good real person with a bit of empathy, but still don't forget that it's chatbot and people who are talking to it should be aware of this. And the last point of this checklist is uh, don't forget to test this chatbot, I mean the way it communicates with other people, not your customers. Just grab someone from your office and ask them to talk to the chatbot and just check it. So that's a whole way testing that I'm a huge fan of. If you don't know how to do it, the instruction is in the description to this video. Just go and test it. And once all the tests are successfully passed, you're going to launch the chatbot on your website. And now the easiest way to configure a chatbot on your website 
under five minutes. For example, you can easily do it with Dashly that has a visual builder for a chatbot. So you can easily configure a chatbot and check how it's going to look on your website. And you can also configure the communication depending on the response your users or customers are choosing. A chatbot can have a variety of scenarios of communication and you can also loop the conversation or make people start the communication over so until the key action is done right you can also use pictures gifs and even docs in case you're going to share a price list for example or a presentation and whatnot by the way this chatbot is a great way to generate leads and collect information about them so you could qualify them and add all the information into electronic crm email, name, interests, their preferences, and so on. A user or a customer can reply to a bot using either buttons or typing in a text. And of course, a chatbot can connect people to a real agent any moment. And definitely, you can configure a chatbot with Dashly with no coding skills. And you don't need special people for that. So you just open this service, create a chatbot, and launch it on your website. By the way, the most important thing about a Dashly chatbot is that you are going to have seven days of free trial and that's plenty of time you are going to test various types of communication of your bot and get the first results. So that is it for today. If this video is useful for you, don't forget to let us know and share this video with people who are also having the website and still don't have a chatbot. Tell them about the importance of it. See you!